What's up guys, this is Kevin with Moonlight Entertainment. I had promised you guys a video uh, covering how to make gobos uh, for the new Icon IR. This is the Icon IR, it's a 60 watt projector by American DJ. Uh, as you probably saw in my other gig log. So I'm not gonna cover this. If you wanna know more about this, look at my other gig log on this light. Today I'm gonna talk to you about how to make the gobos using Photoshop. Um, basically, Photoshop, transparency film, laser versus inkjet, and uh, you know, if you want to do color, you can also do color. And there's little tricks that you can do to make this more simplified and easier for you. The cool thing about this is, you know, in the past you always had to order your gobos <coughs> right here, and uh, this is a standard, you know, B size or source four. Gobo and it's uh, stainless steel. You have to order these from a company. You pay anywhere between, you know, sixty and hundred dollars a piece. So you know that's quite a bit of money. The other thing is you have to have these patterns that slip down inside the source form, and they get bent. And then the next thing you know, you got this. This is a brand new one, and it just slides all over the place, and it's a pain. So when you get it all set up, next thing you know, somebody bumps it, then the pattern's off on the wall. So it it really is a pain. Um, this right here, man, it's easy in, easy out. It's got a little holder, it locks it in place. You know, you got a magnifier on here where you can adjust it. It just is a great light. Um, so let's get started. Let me show you guys the basics. And what I'm gonna take you through first is Photoshop. Okay guys, I've got Photoshop opened up. Um, I'm not an expert at this, but I'm gonna run you guys through it the best that I can. Uh, this is basically a you know, GoBo that I made this past weekend. I'm gonna show you how I made this. Uh, you go up here and hit file, you hit new, and you make sure that it's on millimeters, you know, right here. And you type in 54, that's for the American DJ icon. So that's 54 millimeters. Just like that. Make sure it says 600 pixels. Make sure it says white for your background contents. Click OK. And there you go. This is your pattern. and. Now over here, you, you got all these different little tools. You want to put it on the Eclipse. It may be a rectangle right now around it. It might be one of these other ones, but if you just hold down right here, it's going to open up, highlight Eclipse tool right there. Now you got like a little plus for your cursor. Go up here, stick it in the corner of this white pattern here, and drag this down to the other corner. Get it right in the corner there. It's kind of Kind of hard. It can be a little, you know, a little sensitive. There you go. Uh, all the spaces are pretty well where I want them to be. It looks good and clean. Um, next thing is you notice it's black. It made a black circle. That's because I've got the foreground color, you know, set to black. Make sure you set that to black. Uh, the back should be to white. That allows the transparency of the light, you know, to go through eventually. And we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the other thing I always do is I come over here and I right click and I hit rasterize layer. That allows me to make edits to this in a little bit and we'll get to that in a few minutes. Uh, the next thing that we're going to go through is going to be to make you another ring in here so that you know how much of your edge is going to be hidden behind the pattern holder inside the icon. Because there's a little ring that goes in there and it's so wide and it, you know, it's it's the holder part, so you don't want to put any lettering in here, or it's not not going to be visible on the floor where you're shining your gobo. Okay, so we want to make a inner ring so you know where not to type past. So let's do that right now. Um, basically, you're going to do the same thing. Hit new, come over here. Now the inner viewable part, the viewable part, is going to be thirty-nine point seven five millimeters. So you go thirty-nine point seven five. Right there, make sure it's on millimeters. Again, 39.75 millimeters, 600 wide. Okay, so we've got that. So we click OK. Now I've got a little smaller pattern, as you can tell. Again, you're going to hit Eclipse over here, like we showed you earlier. Go up to the top corner here, drag your circle, make sure it's on black over there, on the foreground color. Okay, so now we've got that. And again, it was on black. All right. Now that we have our 39.75 millimeter actual viewable part of the Gobo made, we are going to right click over here, hit Rasterize Layer, and you're going to hit Control A. Take it out like that when you see that little box come around. It's all selected all. 
go up here and hit copy. Now go back to your 54 millimeter by clicking on that tab. And now you're going to hit paste. And as you notice, it just popped up over here. So now we have both. Um, as you can see, there you go. That is, you can see a little fine line. That's, this is the part that's gonna be hidden by your pattern holder inside your icon that I want. This is gonna be your actual viewable area. Um, you can do that by just seeing this little eyeball over here. See what it looks like, you know, anyway. <coughs> the next thing you do is, you've got that one selected. So you're gonna go up here and hit layer. And you're gonna go to layer style. You're gonna go to stroke. I'm gonna change this to white. Just go to the far corner over here. Hit OK. Make sure it's on three pixels. Click OK. Now you have a nice white safety margin. Anything in here will not show up. Anything you want to be inside here is going to be to uh, add your fonts or your text. So click text. Uh, I've already got Edwardian script selected. It's a nice script. It's really pretty elegant. People like it a lot. Um, I'm going to click in this box right here. And uh, you may have to drag it down if it doesn't you know, go exactly where you want it to. And just hit this little thing up here and come back over here. Let's do this. All right, there we go. I'm going to type, let's see, foreground color, put that on white. There we go. Now, you know, there's correct ways to do this. And I just know my way. And if you notice, I'm just kind of moving this around. If you it's selected right now and you see over here it's got like a font and this was the one I made like earlier which I just delete that later. Alright, make sure that's highlighted and you know you can you can do it like this and gain control of it so that you can move it around or you can you know um, hit control T which allows you to move it and make it bigger if you want. Uh, this really depends on what you want to do. The correct way, I guess, would be is to, um, you know, highlight it like this and change your font size here. And we have a nice big K now. And, uh, you know, I'm going to place it somewhere in the center here. All right. So now I'm going to hit my cursor and got a nice big K. I'm going to add another text font. Let's say the first name is going to be, her first name would be Brittany, let's say. So I'm going to use smock font. You know, play around with it. It's you know it's hit or miss. Depending on what size you want, you know that's, I'm probably going to stick like right here. You know, it's just you know play around with it. Get get you know get a feel for this and, and learn it. Um, the next thing you can do is hit the arrow, hit your key again for another text for another font. She knows we have a K to B now. So I'm going to place this where I want it. His first name is going to be Rick. Um, and it's R. So I'm going to stick like this. Uh, you know, you just kind of put it where you kind of like it. I'm going to hit arrow again. And honestly, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, we just made our gobo. One other thing that I almost forgot to tell you guys about. And I actually had a friend tell me about this. And it doesn't take anything special. Just you know, hit the pencil tool here. It may be one of these other ones, but just you know, get it on pencil. Um, you know, you need to come over here, and you can probably have to hit um, rasterize. And then you're going to come here, and you're going to hit basically. Um, I'm going to make a dot. I want four dots, so I'm going to make a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. Now the reason I'm doing the dots is when you go to line this thing up, because we're going to use two of these. You're going to print two of the exact same things, okay? So that way you have no ghosting. All right, so I'm going to print this out on a transparency. I'm going to go here and I'm going to hit print. 
Um, I'm gonna put this up here in the top left corner somewhere so we can make, you know, you can make probably about what, three, six, nine, you can make about 12, 12 of these per sheet. So, you know, that's pretty good. Um, the printer that I use is the Hewlett Packard LaserJet 200 color MFP M276. All right, guys, I printed out this one up here at the top one I didn't want. I redid it down here on these two here in the center bottom right here. They're identical. I'm gonna cut them out, place them on top of each other. I did put the four little dots on the outer edges so that I can line it up. All right, here's a look at a colored gobo that I just made, putting two transparencies together. I made my logo ME in blue, Moonlight Entertainment and just in white. Shooting this on my hardwood floor so give you guys a look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have anything to share, please leave a comment. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Appreciate it, guys. Peace. Have a good day.